another day of October today is Tuesday for me and oh my goodness as soon as I sit down I got them all <laughs> they want to go for a w-a-l-k but it is so cold today and I am just not sure if I can deal with it I didn't go up to the school uh, yesterday I went up and ran walked slash ran at the school and it was so great it was like 70 degrees though and today it's like 50 and super windy and no it is too cold i need to like ease my way into this cold weather because <laughs> i know in january this is not cold but anyway welcome back to another day of october um i started this vlog yesterday actually and it was going to be a super productive day and i was going to have all these things to share and then i was had zero motivation but I did get up and go run and then when I got home I was gonna do all this stuff in the evening and then um, Madison and I made plans to go out instead so I said I guess I won't be vlogging today because <laughs> it was it was just it wasn't enough so I thought I'll just vlog Tuesday today was gonna be my day not to vlog but I'm vlogging but it is 3.30 in the afternoon. I've been working, doing a little bit of stuff around here. I made lunch and I put some laundry in. I put my all my bedding in. I've got a load in the dryer. Excuse me. I got a load in the dryer that I need to put away. But before I get started, I wanted to share something with you because I thought it was so fascinating. Um, I was watching a video last night from a YouTuber named Kimmy Cope. I'll link her channel down below. But she, okay, you gotta get down. She, she um, was talking about chronotypes. Now, I don't know if you know what chronotypes are. I never n never heard of them. You've probably heard of a, an early bird or a night owl. That's like what we always talk about. And they're kind of like nicknames, but they're, these are like legitimate, um, what do you call them? They're like biological, it, it's, our, it's our makeup, it's who we are. We're one of four chronotypes and it says 50% of pop the population is a bear. And then there's 15 to 20% is a lion and another 15 to 20% is a wolf and then like 10% is a dolphin. And I am shocked to learn that these things exist and I am a wolf, hardcore, <laughs> and it explains me so much. It explains so much about me and why I do what I do. Okay, sorry my uh, battery was was dying there basically there's four types of chronotypes and i'm a wolf which means that i am a, like the classic night owl and i've always wondered what's wrong with me why am i not productive in the mornings and i i've said so many times like i get all my energy in the afternoon and the evening and 
Um, this literally like described me to a T. A wolf is all those things. Like we should go to bed between, we like to go to bed between one and 2 a.m. We like to get up between eight and 10 a.m. Like that would just be ideal. Of course I can't do that because I have to get up at seven with Jackson. But um, they say that you can try to force your body into another, you know, like when you have to get up and have to go to work and be productive in the mornings. Um, but it's not good for your body and you should try to find a job that you could work like second or third or whatever. So it just literally explains my life. And I'm 48 years old and I did not know these things. It's so fascinating. And I've always thought if I, maybe if I drank coffee, I'd be more awake. But the first couple hours after I wake up, I am just not very productive. Sometimes I have no choice and I have to get up and do stuff. But I'm always tired and it's not something I ever want to do. If I have to make an appointment, I always want it to be in the afternoon. And I thought... Like, I know that, like, well, I didn't understand why I was like that. And this just makes perfect sense. Like, there is a legitimate reason that I'm like that. And one in five people is that way. So if you're a wolf, comment down below. Let me know if you're a fellow wolf. Marion is a bear. He's the one that gets, he, he can get up early and he can go to, he has no problem going to sleep. He's fine with, he's kind of, they kind of like even keel. He's, the bears make up 50% of the population. And then the dolphin is like the insomniac who doesn't get a lot of sleep. They sleep with one eye open. And then there's the lion, which gets up super early and gets the whole house clean by 9 a.m. And then they get tired in the evenings, which I've always thought I need to be that way. And I want to be that way. Why can't I be that way? It's because I wasn't created that way by God. <laughs> I'm a wolf. I'm a wolf. Who knew? It's so fascinating. I'll put something on the screen that, I, that if I can, that will, that describes like the four chronotypes but let me know in the comments which one you are because it really fascinates me now like literally that's what I've done all morning when I was sitting and not being productive this morning so um, and I was watching this video at 1 a.m. when I should have been asleep but I was learning about chronotypes and why I'm still awake at 1 a.m. <laughs> but anyway I'm gonna have a busy afternoon and evening because this is says when the Sun goes down that's when wolves hit their stride and that's when I get all my stuff done. So I'm going to go, go uh, I'm going to be sharing two recipes with you tonight. One is not very unhealthy actually. It's a, it's called a cheesy chicken tortilla soup or something. Everything's processed. <laughs> I don't know why it looked good, but it did. And I thought I'm going to buy this stuff and I'm going to make it. But one thing I didn't buy is the Tostitos Scoops chips. She says you really need to eat it with that. But I do have Fritos and I do have some just regular tortilla chips. So hopefully that's enough. And then I'm going to be making like a sugar-free applesauce cake. It's literally a sugar-free cake mix, sugar or unsweetened applesauce, and then apple pie spice. But I don't, I could not find any to save my life. So I am going to use pumpkin pie spice. And I need to look and see if there's anything that like I should add like what apple pie spice is made of. I may have all the, the spices myself and yeah, so I would just add all that, but I thought that I would try that. I'm gonna go ahead and get the cake in the oven and the chicken in the oven cooking so that these will be done um, you know before dinner so I actually decided to half the recipe so I'm gonna just open this and use half of it because I'm gonna eat it but Marion and Jackson it's kind of like I don't know I don't know they they kind of are funny about my sugar-free recipes so I just went ahead and greased a loaf pan so I'm just gonna use this to make it and since I halved the recipe it said one and three-fourths cups applesauce so I did about half of that it was three eggs so I tried to you know just do like one and a half basically and then I didn't have any pumpkin pie spice or apple pie spice so I looked it up and it said basically it's a two to one ratio of cinnamon and nutmeg I don't have any allspice if I did have that I would put that too but I um, so it called for one tablespoon so this is a roughly a half a tablespoon total so I'm just gonna mix all that together and put it in the pan and we'll bake it and we'll see if it's any good.
gonna go ahead and put the chicken in the oven to cook that way. I usually cook it on the stove top, but this recipe said put it in the oven and it's so much easier. So I just have four of these chicken breast cutlets and I'm gonna salt and pepper them, put them in the oven for about a half an hour and they'll bake along with the cake. The dishwasher was almost full so I went ahead and am running that. I'll wash these by hand after I wash or after our dinner is ready because we'll be dirtying up more dishes. These are the ingredients that I'm going to use. I'm also going to add a couple of things that are in the refrigerator but speaking of the refrigerator I'm not the kind of person who leaves food in my refrigerator long at all so I need to by the way we got this at the orchard this past weekend it is so good but it's something you have to drink in like a little bit at a time oh my gosh so so good I also got blackberry syrup and I can't wait to use that but I've got some like leftovers in here I need to throw some of them out and also like wipe off yeah wipe off the refrigerator just wipe down the the shelves and stuff so I'm gonna do that while those things are baking
that you're doing fine cause you got me I don't wanna break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just gotta let All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the the soup in quotes, that's in quotes, because it's kind of like a dip, <laughs> we'll see. I'm gonna put it in the pot and let it simmer. It says it's supposed to simmer for two hours. I'm not gonna simmer it that long, but my chicken is cooling right now and I like to shred it by hand so I can make sure there's nothing gross in it. So I'm gonna let that cool, but while that's cooling, I'm just gonna, you literally just dump everything in your pan and let it simmer, so. Um, I just put as much cilantro as I like. I think it's amazing. So it gives so much flavor. If you don't like cilantro though, leave it out. It's totally fine. It says um, taco seasoning, corn, one jar of salsa con queso. Super healthy here. And cream of potato. And I gotta admit, this kind of grosses me out. I've never used it before, I don't think. But we'll see. Um, chicken broth. And this is just better than bouillon. I've been letting it sort of dissolve. Then sour cream, which is another thing I do not like, but I will eat it when it's mixed into stuff. And then it said two ounces green chilies, but I love green chilies, so I'll probably use close to that whole jar or whole can, which is four ounces. So I'm literally just going to dump it all in, let it simmer, and when the chicken is ready, I will add that also. all right so it smells really really good apparently this is kind of like the quicker help less healthy way to make uh chicken tortilla soup i don't know if i've ever made chicken tortilla soup but this is supposed to be kind of like it. it. It really does smell delicious. So I'm gonna let it cook for a little while and then I'll add the chicken and we'll see it's, let's see what time is it? It is 5.30 so I'll probably let it cook for a good hour or so. That smells so good. Okay, so it's been almost an hour and I taste it and it actually is insanely flavorful. It's so good. It's way more flavorful than I expected. Probably the chicken broth or the better than bouillon and obviously the salsa con, or yeah, salsa con queso. So I have um, corn chips and tortilla chips. Okay, I just finished. I just had to come on and tell you how delicious that was. So, I think that that would be so good for like, if you're having a Super Bowl party and you wanna have like a delicious dip, like that's better to me than the queso dip that you know everybody makes with the queso and the rotel, or the cheese and the rotel and the sausage. Like that's amazing, that, I love that. But this is, is a different flavor. 
Oh my goodness, it is so good. <laughs> the more I ate it, the more I was like, this is delicious. And also, this applesauce cake. Holy moly, I did not expect it to be this good. It almost tastes like gingerbread, like I'm eating gingerbread and it is sugar-free. It's applesauce, a sugar-free cake. Sugar-free, make sure you get the unsweetened applesauce, um, eggs and a cake mix, and then the spices, it's, it makes it taste like gingerbread. It is delicious, these are both Definitely both winner winner recipes. You've got to try them. I'll link them down below. I'll either link them or I'll type them down below if you're interested in trying them. I love finding a new, quick, delicious recipe. All right, time to clean it up. I took my break. <laughs> um, the dish, I loaded this earlier and it's done. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just unload it and run it. Whoa! Unload it and reload it and run it again because sometimes you gotta do it twice in one day. I My bedding is dry except I put the duvet back in the dryer. It wasn't quite dry. I'm gonna go ahead and put up the uh, leftovers and I also really need to like run the vacuum, at least in the living room. So I'm gonna get all that done. It's on 6.45, I'll get it done and then I will probably do some more editing. to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright cause I know that you deserve much more than this if you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there and I selfish and made you believe that you're not good enough but you're all I need I take you places that you've never been I would give you the world if you let me try again yeah just give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there and I kitchen at night feels so nice seven o'clock for me um I, I was gonna run the vacuum but you know how it is chloe i got up and chloe went and sat right in my chair and snuggled up and i cannot i don't have the heart to move her so before i go to bed if it's a good time i'll run the vacuum otherwise i'll do it in the morning it's no big deal but i'm gonna go put my new or my clean duvet and sheets on the bed 
Marion left. He's he had to run out and he's helping his brother. So I'm gonna have to do it by myself. I was gonna have him help me. I could wait till he gets home and I might. It's a lot easier when you have two people. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. Lord have mercy, Clyde made that difficult. <laughs> he was so cute. You know Clyde likes to help us make the bed. Oh no. Anyway, anyway, I'm gonna say goodnight. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this one a thumbs up and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.